Hi guys, welcome back to Game Dev with AI, the place where I'm developing my own real-time strategy indie game with the help of tools of AI. As you know, I'm a big fan of real-time strategy games and my new game Nuke the Mall is going to come on Steam next year, so in case you want to wishlist it, you're very welcome to go to Steam, search Nuke the Mall and wishlist the game and if the demo is already available feel free to download play it and let me know what you think however i not only play my own game i also try to check all the best real-time strategy games from the last years starting from 1990s and to the new year and so in this video let's quickly check my wish list and see what games are coming next year that i personally selected and, and expecting here you go, this is my wish list that we will, we will quickly cover today. I hand selected all the best games that I'm expecting personally. And I've been looking for a long time trying to find really good ones. And it's quite hard to find because we are in a drought of real-time strategy games. It's really hard to find any real-time strategy games. You know, we Steam is all about horror games. Colony simulators, they really don't release a lot of real-time strategy games this year. I wish the golden era of RTS games like the 1990s when we had biggest com Command and Conquer, Z, Crash, Kill and Destroy, Total Annihilations, all those classics. I really hope they'll be back one day again. Anyways, the first one is called Man of War part 2. To be honest, I missed the first one for some reason, because I'll be honest, I'm not a big fan of games based on World War 2. For some reason, in the late 1990s, early 2000s, the market was really overloaded with those games, fighting Germans and all these things is just getting old. So I'm not that excited about this one because it's again, once again, fighting Germans with some all new units locations and it reminds me, to be honest, Company of Heroes and it really looks like Company of Heroes. So if in case you like to beat those Germans, let's wishlist this one. The next one is Commander's Origins. And this is one of the long anticipated games. It's like a stealth RTS game. I, I'm sure you know the series. And again, once again, we're fighting Germans. So um, this part I'm not a big fan of. However, I really like the first part of Commanders. And it has unique mechanics. I'm trying to stay out of line of sight of enemies. That's a lot of stealth action here so this kind of game which is will be a full remake i suppose will be quite interesting to do so wish list in this one for sure the next one is tempest rising and this one already has a demo which you can play and which i just did so i played this one it graphically looks nice but this is a total clone of command and conquer if you play it Tiberium Wars and games like Generals you'll find everything is the same Red Alert Red Alert 3 so the game is very pretty much a clone of those games and to be honest I think it, it lacks original ideas the developers really just copied almost everything it looks exactly the same, the interface and mechanics, you build the base, the power plant, you just know like you're playing the same game all over again. So I wish they create more original content in this game, maybe some fraction, maybe some aliens, zombies or something more exciting rather than just exactly humans fighting humans and the same all over again. However, graphics look great, it's very smooth, well made and Animations are pretty cool, so very excited to try the full version when it comes out. Frostpunk 2. I really enjoyed the first Frostpunk. 
it was super original game when you built a colony and then uh, you build like a generator and then the winter comes and you have to keep the temperatures it's just super exciting gameplay i don't know if it's really a real-time strategy game it's more like a game colony simulation but it's super exciting game you definitely should check the sound wish list and try frost punk when it comes out next one is a new uh, Spice Wars, but this is already released, so I'll skip this one and let's go to Zero Space. Zero Space is a cinematic RTS with an epic story. Uh, it looks like a mix of StarCraft 2 and some space exploration. Graphics look decent as well. I love this Max and Stormtroopers. You can already see some broadcasting by the developers. So if you are into StarCraft 2, I'm sure you'll love this one. Sanctuary Shattered Sun. It's a traditional real-time strategy game fe featuring strategic zoom, economy, simulations and grand skill. So this is kind of like planetary annihilation where you have some sort of a big map and you can really zoom out, have a strategically control massive amount of units. To be honest, I'm not a big fan of this kind of games, but I still want to try this one out. I really more into micromanaging on the closer levels rather than mass producing swarms of units and just mass controlling all of them without looking into what's happening but you know that ultimate battle simulator was a lot of fun so i guess this is something like planetary annihilation or something like that next one is red chaos the strict order is a modern real-time strategy game looks really good so far again reminds me Command and Conquer. You can see this interface right away, which is very exciting. A base building, walls, protection, some turrets, very cool explosions. Something I'm looking forward to try. Red Chaos. Not much of information about this game yet, but let's see when it comes out. Stormgate is the next next generation real-time strategy game in the science fantasy universe. You command the mechs and defend the Earth. Yeah, another clone of StarCraft 2 looks very familiar. All those stormtroopers fighting Zergs. Zergs? <laughs> I don't know what it is, but looks familiar. Yeah, looks very fun. Again, there's not, not enough information yet, but graphics look amazing. Look at this dragon. Yeah, this is a very exciting game. Just by looking at it, I cannot wait to try this one. Dying Breed, if you're a fan of old school real-time strategy games, class 6 like me, you would love this one. It's a pixel art, but it should be a lot of fun. I already checked the gameplay. And it looks super fun. So if you like old Command and Conquer games, I'm sure you'll love this one as well. Existence the Outer Reach. This is the space battles strategy game with a massive scale. I'm not a fan of this kind of games. I think it's similar to Homeworld. But in case you have some planetary action, space action and some ground mass battles. It doesn't look very good to be honest. I think it's very early development. I mean, come on, this doesn't look good at all. So I hope graphics will improve because this is not 
something I would show in 2024. Door for real time strategy conflict, another pixel art cl classic. Uh, isometric game in a style of Red Alert, Command and Conquer, KKND, and all those classic amazing games. Very excited about this one. There's not much information about it yet. Horizon Forbidden West it's not RTS but really I'm really excited about this one for sure I completed the first Horizon Dawn Zero and I love this one and finally we have Dust Front RTS Dust Front another classic RTS with grand strategy looks really good with a lot of gloomy stylish Battles, I don't know what they're fighting, zombies, some, but I love the art, love the style, looks really amazing. Really love it, it has some Warhammer and also the Abelian's wipes, really love this one. So cannot wait to try Dust Front RTS. And of course, I cannot help but <laughs> recommend my own game, Nuke them all on Steam. Make sure to wishlist and if you like it, let me know in the comments below. And also, if I miss some of the games that you're excited about in the genre of real-time strategy games, let me know in the comments below. I would love to look into it and wish list, uh, wish list as, as well. That's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next one. Cheers. Bye.